All right, so I've been busy pulling parts off the uh, <laughs> RMK we just rebuilt. About the only thing left under here I want to pull is that bracket because whichever sled I decide to put the 800 in, I'm going to run the same coolant bottles, jugs, all that as would have been in this chassis. So it just drops right in. I don't have to figure anything out for hoses. It'll all just be there. It'll be right. Basically, it'll end up being like a, a plug and play. Uh, also swapped out the skis. I am keeping the blue skis. I have a guy wanting to buy what's left of this because his kids went out and destroyed both sides of the front suspension on his sled, I guess. So, <clears throat> yeah, kind of works out. He'll be able to fix his sled, have some spare parts, and I'm going to get a, a decent chunk, chunk of my money back out of this thing. So, pretty cool. I was really undecided on whether I want to put the 800 in an XCR 440 chassis or an XC 700 chassis. Now the XC is actually my personal XC 700 I rode back when I was a teenager. It's not my first one, it was my second one. And uh, it's in pretty rough shape. I'll show you guys it here in a second. But I'm, I'm really starting to think maybe I'll finally get around to building that. So I might put the 800 in that sled even though I want to do the 440 chassis really they're the same thing it's just the way the 440 looks i like but also like how the 98 700 so so it's kind of a toss-up but yeah i guess we'll get around and show you guys that sled real quick because it's been a minute since you guys have seen it there she is this is my xc 700 that i rode back when i was a teenager and boy is she rough this will kind of be like a uh more or less Best way I could put it, it'd be like a bulkhead tunnel up build if I decide to do this one. So it'd be a little, a little intensive on all the work that would have to go into it. Cause I mean, it's like everything. <laughs> but I think it'd be kind of a fun build. And honestly, it'd be pretty cool to be back on this sled. Cause I haven't rode that sled in close to 15 years. And another thing I've been thinking about is even if I do put this 800 into my XC chassis and I do a whole big build on that, I can still big block swap my XR 440 because something I've kind of been wanting to do for a while is to put a vest motor in an old wedge as well. So that's always a possibility. I could 800 an XC 700 chassis and I could always just drop this 700 vest into the XCR 440 chassis because this thing is fresh that's a low mile motor it's actually kind of a shame it the sled caught fire in a garage fire but most of the sled was salvageable and I got all the good parts from it so I don't know that's always another option too all I know is I'm not building this. I had a couple people tell me to leave it alone and just run this chassis. But, you know, I why? I have no use for a 151 Gen 2 RMK. So, this thing is going down the road. Actually, I should probably, I should probably take this to put the newer style brake set up on the wedge as well. Unless I put a Pro-X mash, or mash cylinder on there. I don't know. I'm to not totally decide what I'd want to do because things are always changing for me. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I'm like a squirrel. The squirrel here, squirrel there. Things always change and I can never make up my mind exactly what I want to do until I'm doing it that, at that exact moment. So, yeah. I guess that's the update for today. And tomorrow I'm going to bring either the XC700 and start assembling that thing or I'll be bringing the XCR440 in and pulling the motor. But you guys will have to stay tuned and wait for the next video to find out which one I choose.